Hello and welcome to another video on the channel. Today we talk about the bad upsetting as it is for the Wednesday videos or 40k really but bad up is like the main theme and um, today I will like to talk about the setting and how to play bad up war armies. So first we do a little law summary. It's it's very much condensed and hasn't got a lot of detail because my channel isn't a law channel there's a couple of other great law channels out there so you might as well listen to them if you want a deep dive into the law we will just dip our toes in it to uh, to set uh, to set you all up with what the setting is so basically um, the Bad Up War is, the con is a conclusion of, uh, of a string of events that led to loyal space marines of the Imperium to take matters in their own hands. Um, the Bad Up system is the core of the Bad Up sector, which borders the Maelstrom zone. The Maelstrom is basically a small, more stable Eye of Terror, and with more stable, I mean like how stable something like the Eye of Terror can even be, right? Um, and it, the, the Imperium secured it, the Maelstrom Zone, because it was full with highly val valuable uh, resources. So, uh, the Maelstrom, uh, the Bad Up Sector was held by four Space Marine chapters. Um, the chapters were the Astro Claws, leaders of the Maelstrom Warders, uh, the Mantis Warriors, the Lamantas, and the Charnel Guard. Um, after the Astro, uh, after the chapter master of the Astro Claws was slain by a war boss in personal combat, the Astro Claws elected a new chapter master named Luft Huron. And then a series of dark events took place that escalated into the Badab War. So, we have uh, Luft Huron being the master of the Astral Claws, who are a Space Marine chapter that is honored throughout the Imperium through good service. Then you, uh, and he's the youngest chapter master of the Astral Claws, actually. And then uh, you have the High Lords. Uh, just just uh, uh, deploy the channel guard one chapter of the of the phalanx war of the phalanx waters of course of the <laughs> of the maelstrom waters because they were a fleet based chapter they were deployed elsewhere so the maelstrom waters who always were pressed for for forces and troops now had one chapter less for their uh for their own, uh, for the defense and the holding of the Maelstrom zone, and uh, a, a couple of things, uh, uh, a couple of things led to the Bad Up War. So now we talk about how to play. So, what do Bad Up armies look like? Are there any special? Or what? So let's determine first. What do bad up armies look like? Like what could be a bad up army? Basically, you could be guard, space marines, or to some extent, admeg. Um, but the main protagonists of the war were the space marines, uh, the sixteen chapters. That took place in the Bad Up War will be found in a link in the description. Um, but when we talk about Space Marines, we do not include uh, Primaris Marines. This is not out of spite or hate for the Primaris Marines. It is just that we have the Space Marines of that time not having, they didn't have Primaris Marines. The Primaris Marines were not out in the galaxy crusading in Gilliman's name. This is not what happened. This was a war between the firstborn space marines at the beginning of the 14th millennium. 
not at the end or the 42nd or whatever where we are at um, so so that means basically every space marines army uh, space marine units that were released to the seventh edition are viable to use an abad up army so that does mean you can use your storm ravens you can use your storm talents you can use your centurions you can use whatever um only because they aren't mentioned in the uh, bad up war books which there are imperial armor books about the bad up war doesn't mean they weren't there because back in the day um a lot uh, back in the day in warmer 40k a lot of things were retrofitted so a new codex because the setting back in the day was stagnant so you you did not advance in time you just were stagnant you was you were forced to always be at the end of the 41st millennium where abaddon does the 13th great crusade and that was always the state status quo quo at the uh, for warhammer before 8th edition and um so everything new for the space marines basically was retrofitted so you had a space marine uh, book come out a codex space marines comes out uh it adds new units but the stories are like they were always there because you they didn't advance the setting so they retrofitted a lot so i i think i will use the word retrofitted a lot in this video so um they retrofitted a lot of stuff so maybe never centurions never were mentioned in the bad up war books but through uh through how warhammer 40k was handled back in the day um they were there and the storm ravens were there and the storm talents and the storm uh, stormhawk interceptors and the stalkers and the other anti-air tank i've never seen <laughs> used in my life so i don't know its uh, its name uh, they were all there i mean you can make an argument no i don't want to use centurions for my army or i don't want to use a storm raven for my army that's totally fine that's your that's your army if you don't want to use it you don't want to use it but they were there most like more likely than not um so now which edition do we play for the bad up war well the answer is pretty simple uh you just use whatever uh whatever edition you like basically um so i've seen groups of bad up people on facebook bad up people i say bad up people uh players that want to play bad up games or that want to reenact bad up games use uh, space uh, use the heresy rules for the horus heresy i mean you could make a point for it uh forge world expansions of the game the bad up war is an expansion for warmer 40k always were meant to be played in uh were meant to be played in uh, apocalypse style games so not apocalypse what Ap apocalypse means now but ap what apocalypse mean uh, meant back then which is 3k uh, 3k games and up so basically uh, bigger games right um bigger than the one uh, 1.7k 1.75k or 2k just bigger games i mean it's all right i think the support squads are kind of over so five man plasma man, uh, plasma squads and breacher squads i don't know if they fit the setting well but then again i'm not the biggest uh, biggest in the law of the bad up uh, bad up so but there were breacher there are breacher marines in warmer 40k they're just used for uh, breaching operations <laughs> like breaching ships and may i don't know if they are even a thing for bunkers but yeah then I have seen people who use the seventh edition, which is pretty close to the Age of Darkness or Heresy game. It's also fine. I mean, a lot of the but up, uh, a, a, a lot of the Imperial Armor books that uh, are about the but up war, 
can still be applied to uh, 7th edition because the books didn't change that much uh, the editions didn't change that much so that's a good thing um, and then there's people that play 8th edition just without Primaris Marines um, or people like me who look forward to 9th edition or are cautiously optimistic about 9th edition I want to play games uh, of, uh, of Bad Up War in the 9th edition I mean you can do everything you like uh, only because you are using the 9th edition rules or the 7th edition rules or the 8th edition if you use the newer editions with Primaris Marines doesn't mean you use them because the mini Marines as they are as I call them the first one still are around so there shouldn't be a problem using them uh, and then yeah that's what I wanted to say about the editions um, so now, how we build armies for the Bad Up War, for Space Marines, uh, you, the Mark VII armor was the most uh, was the most used armor in the game. But since it's a war, uh, it's a Forge World book and Imperial armor book, Space Marines in the Bad Up setting had a mix of different weapons, uh, weapons and armor. Which means basically from Mark 3 to Mark 7 or Mark 8, mix and match everything you like. Kit bash all the squads, Space Marine tactical squads you can find on this planet. Mix and match them, build your armies. They look cool. This, this is such a 40, such a Warhammer thing to me. Space Marines just having cobbled together armor pieces from everywhere because they don't really know how to build servo arm uh, power armor anymore so basically go wild with what kits you take um i don't know about forge world tanks and dreadnoughts contempt of dreadnoughts surely i guess but all to an extent like let's not go wild about forge world vehicles because they are rare, some of them are rare in Horus Heresy, and that means they are even rarer in Warhammer 40k. But if you like, you can still use them. But when I first entered the Bad Up War, I was like, okay, I use Sikarans and Contemptors and whatever. But then I, I thought a little about about it and said, yeah, I maybe get a Contemptor. But like I, I won't go overboard with basically basically building an heresy army that looks like a bad up army. Um, so and how do we start uh, the bad up war army? Pretty much, just get the old Space Marine start collecting box. It has a it has a tactical squad. It has a captain. It has a dreadnought. These are all good things you want to have in a bad up army. And uh, that's been it really. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Join the Discord server because next month we will start a painting comp for bad up, uh, or a bad up campaign for Horus Heresy. Uh, for Horus Heresy, of course, for the bad up war. So maybe get your hands on one of the nice start collecting boxes and start a bud up army with us. This has been Dantioch. Thanks for listening.